Hello, Atari Museum followers. Okay, so we're going to do a follow-up to the uh, XL LCD display that was intended for the, um, the Atari XL laptop. Now what I've done is I've removed the 80 column card from the, uh, the 1090 expansion system box. So the box is hooked up to the 800 XL and then the LCD display is hooked up to that mystery uh, driver card to the back of the LCD display. So now what will happen is we're going to get the uh, 800XL to boot in 40 column mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the 800XL and let's bring it up. And what I notice is now there's a little bit of a garbage header on the top of the LCD uh, screen. Um, but the text is actually a little bit easier to read now. I did find a, um, a small pot on the, uh, actually a, a, a varistor, a variable resistor on the, uh, the side of the driver board um, inside of the 1090. Um, I was able to adjust uh, the, uh, the composite and the contrast a little bit. Um, the screen's a lot easier to read now. You can actually see ready on the screen. You'll also notice it's not down in the bottom corner anymore as it was in the 80 column mode, it's now up over here. It would've been great if it was actually over here, but you know, we're, we're making progress. So what I'm gonna do now is I actually boot it up with, do, uh, with, uh, with a disk drive loaded. So I'm gonna load up DOS. Let's just see what a DOS screen uh, looks like on uh, the uh, LCD screen. So here we are in the normal 40 column uh, LCD, uh, I'm sorry, uh, CRT screen. So we've got uh, my DOS 453 uh, loaded. So let's take a look on the LCD screen. So it's skewed out a lot. It looks like really the, the beginning of the screen is kind of on this side and then it continues over, but it's still very legible and easy to, to, to see. Um, we could do a, uh, a drive listing. We get a little bit something that comes up, but it's going across instead of not going down. Um, it seems to, let me just, let me do one thing here. I'm just gonna kind of see if I can pull back a little bit. We're gonna try to get both screens at the same time. So I'm just gonna hit return to let the menu refresh on both sides. Let me just kind of see if I can get this in a way where you can kind of see both screens. It's a little difficult because the CRT, unfortunately, is cycling. But actually, it's funny, the LCD screen is cycling too. So they both, refresh at exactly the same amount of time. So it doesn't seem like there's any real lag on the LCD uh, screen. It looks like it is refreshing uh, at the exact same time as the, uh, the CRT. Um, of noticeable interest, if you look at the LCD screen and look at the CRT, um, the refresh is a little bit different, but you can see they're both, the screen is both refreshing on both, uh, both displays. So this is what I've been able to find out in 80 column mode, uh, sorry, 40 column mode. I did try manually going into the graphic modes. It made no difference whatsoever. Um, the LC, uh, LCD screen displays the same way um, throughout all the graphic modes. So there's, there's no specific change in it. Um, but it is noticeably different with the 80 column card installed into the 1090. So a little bit more information. I'm going to keep digging and uh, I'll keep posting videos as I find out more information. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.